the costs of these vessels just, just seems to go up and up and up. Um, and that's why we ended up with Neil Gray giving, giving that written authority. I mean, is there a, is there a point at which, uh, in your view, the government should say no more? I, th I think the issue then is what, is what is it that is in the public interest and is it in the public interest to make sure the vessels are completed for the islanders? As the Transport Minister who has spoken to island communities, I want these vessels, all six of them, um, completed because we need that resilience, which is the, the risk element we've got just now. And so therefore, um, I think the issue also then is about the yard and the, and the capacity for shipbuilding jobs in the future. And also that point about um, how do we ensure that the, the yard can be successful, which is obviously the you know, responsibility of Neil Gray. So this, in this instance, there's, there's a lot of different um, aspects in terms of decision making about spend. Um, I um, understand that uh, you know, once we've got through the kind of uh, and I think they're progressing well, the issues for the two vessels in re relation to um, the safety approvals. That will be reported to the Net Zero Energy um, Committee, hopefully by the end of the month in the next update. But then the vessel would go into to sea trials and uh, then you start getting 801 being launched. And I think actually I think that would be a great relief to, to the islanders. And of course, my job as Minister for Transport is to help support island communities receive the vessels. So, you know, you, you can make a judgment, all, all MSPs will make a judgment of when you say yes or no, but I think the, the importance here, and I think the Cabinet Secretary for um, the Economy, Neil Gray, set it out very, very clearly as to why he wanted, particularly on 802, which is obviously a challenge, as to why that should progress and be delivered. But I'm not, I'm not really sh clear what your view is uh, on the question. Uh, but that... Well, at any point in time, should a government say um, stop funding something, the answer is uh, obviously across the piece. There will be decisions that are taken where sometimes a decision may be not to con continue with something. Um, and all I'm saying is I think the, the Cabinet Secretary, Neil Green, made it quite clear and he was very open and he came straight to Parliament to report that uh, in a very forthright and I think very open way. And I think that's the way government should do. Um, do business in, if there's a major decision like that. Uh, there'll be maybe instances where the answer is to do the reverse, um, and that could happen in any ministerial portfolio at any time. So it depends on the circumstances at the time.